Today, friends, I'm going to show you how to make a tiny Tinkercad 3D printable turtle. So let's get cracking. So if it's your first time using Tinkercad, this is the home page. We are going to simply create a brand new 3D design. I always choose sign in with Google. We're going to start by naming our project. I'm going to call this one Turtle Print and Press Enter. In Tinkercad, we build with solid shapes. You can see the basic shapes right here. We're going to right now build with the half sphere. When you bring it out, it is 20 by 20. I want you to hold down shift, stretch any corner, and then click on one of these side measurements and change it to 27. Because we held shift, that keeps both of them the same. Now I'd like you to click on the height and change that to 7.5 and press enter. That's going to be the turtle's shell. We're going to add the turtle's pattern with an awesome shape called the honeycomb grid. If you click on honey, bingo, it shows right here. Bring out this blue one, and then we're going to change the parameters. I have found the numbers 4, keep the 20, make this distance 0 0.8. That is the thickness of the gaps between them. And then we want to put in 5 and 5 for our honeycomb grid. Now this is the opposite of the pattern we want to cut out, so check this out. We are going to bring out a cube, and we're going to turn this into a hole. Now when we bring this shape over, it'll subtract, and it'll leave the parts we want. I'm going to make this just a little bit shorter. Let's go 18. And then I'm going to stretch this out so that it gets almost to the end of it. If I switch to top view, this is easier to see. I'm also going to switch to flat view so we can stretch this out and see exactly that it fits inside. Notice there are no gaps. Then I'm going to select the two of them and do control G to group. Now I've got my pattern that we're going to cut out of this shape. Let's switch back to perspective view and we need to get the amount that we're going to cut out. So what we're going to do is control D and then we're going to take this one and where it says 27 we are going to shift stretch to Crazyville, and we're going to type 26.2. I did some fiddling around, and this works really well. Now we need to cut this out of the honeycomb. So make it a hole, select the two, L for a line, make this one the boss, and we just want center and center, making sure that it fits inside our shape, and it does. And now we can select those two and do control G to group. You can see underneath that's the rounded shape. Now we need to simply turn that into a hole. Now we need to select the two of them, choose L for a line. I'm going to make the pink one the master and I'm going to click center and center. Notice it is easier to see this from the other side of that angle quite often. And now we can do control G to group. How cool is that? At this time, let's make the feet. Once again, we're going to use this awesome half sphere. Bring it out. Hold down shift. And we're going to type 7.5 for the size of a foot. You can see that's going to look pretty cute. Instead of 3.75, I'm going to change the height to 3. And now we're going to add some awesome toenails. We're going to do another search. This time, we're going to type grid. This time, we're going to choose the grid of square columns. Those little toes I made were just these squares. We are going to do one row. I'm going to keep three little toenails. I do want them to be a hole. I'm going to make the size one. And I'm going to make the gap 0.5 and press enter. The height of 10 is fine. If we look at these from an angle, we're going to rotate them. We need 90 degrees, which is four clicks in the center. Notice if you move the mouse a long ways away, it goes one degree at a time. I'll also show you that if you hold shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time, which is perfect for what we're doing. Let's select those two, do L for a line, make the pink one the boss, and choose center, and we're going to choose the end. And now we're going to control down, sync that in, move it forward, control up so it pokes out, if we zoom in, you can see that's not cutting in enough yet. So I'm going to change this to 0.25. And now when I do control down, you can see it cuts in. And when we group them, control G, we have got the awesome little toe that we're going to add to our turtle. We're going to rotate this 45 degrees. 
move it into place just so it looks a little cooler I'm gonna switch the color I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna shift nudge to move to the other side when I'm relatively happy I'm gonna use the mirror command so it's pointed the other way now we can shift select those two and do control G to group and then if we select everything and do L for align make the shell the boss bingo our toes are in place Notice you can nudge them a little bit up and out. If you decide you want it further apart, you can double click, click on one, nudge it out, and then just simply select them and do L for align and realign them so that you're happy. I want those in the back as well. Control D, shift nudge towards the back, and then of course, use the magnificent mirror tool to flip it the other way and then get them placed so that you're happy. Next up, let's add the head. We're gonna go back to the basic shapes. We're gonna use the half sphere again. Once again, let's shift stretch. This time we're gonna do 10.5 and press enter. Move it into place. I am not gonna adjust the height this time. Now friends, we can add the eyes with the whole cylinder. When you bring this out, of course you need it to be a hole. You want the sides maximized. And then we're going to shift shrink and type 1.9 in the box. I have found this works well with most of my printers. And I can stick a piece of filament in to give the eyes color when I'm done. I'm going to look at this from a corner. And I'm going to tilt it a few degrees forward. Notice I'm doing 15. You can adjust that if you want. I'm going to do control D and nudge those two apart. Let's get that measurement exact by using the ruler. Notice if I bring it out here and I set this green number to zero, I can click on this one right here and change this to 2.5. As I work to get these perfect, let's instead try 3.5 and I'm even gonna change it to four. Notice the blue number is how thick our part is. Notice the four is the distance in between them. I'm gonna hit the X to get rid of that and now I'm gonna select those two and do control G to group. Shift select to grab the head and the eyes. L for a line, click on the head. And we want it to be center and middle. Of course, now you can nudge them to get them to the exact spot you want. Now I do want to adjust these vertically. There is a cool handle here, but instead what I'd like you to do is make sure that your nudge is set to 0.25 and then just hold control and go up arrow. You can see it moved up one chunk off the bed. Let's make a magnificent mouth. We're gonna do it with the awesome tube. When you bring out the tube, we need to turn it into a hole. Keep the radius, make the wall thickness 0.8 and press enter. Max out the sides, and then we're gonna use this curved shape to make the smile. Change it to 67 and a half degrees. And then we're going to simply line these up. Let's shift select the head. L for a line, make the head the boss. And we want it to go to the center. And let's also move it to the front. And now we can click that smile and hit D to drop. When we move this forward with the arrow keys, you can see that smile starts to appear where it's going to cut out. Now I'm going to do control up to get it to the height I want. And then I can simply adjust until I think that is going to look awesome. So now let's grab the head and eyes. We're going to do this with the awesome flat view command. Because I've got flat view on, now I can see that I am only grabbing the head and eyes. I do not have any of this body, and we can simply hit group. I'm going to shut off flat view, and we can orbit around and check out that fun turtle mouth. How cool is that? Now we can add our tail with the cone. We're going to bring out a cube. Notice the cone is size 20. We're going to click on that cube we brought out and do half of 20. 10 is that. Now we can select those two, do L for a line, and we want to choose center and the back edge so that they line up. Grab the two of them and do control G. Right there is your tail. We need to lay it down. Notice I went 90 degrees. And then we're going to do D to drop. And then we just need to move it into place and shift squeeze it until you're happy with the size of your turtle's tail. 
Select those two pieces, choose L for a line, and make the turtle's body the boss, and bingo, it's in place. The final step is to give a hole for a keychain, bring out a cylinder hole, once again, hold those corners and shift shrink. I always like to use size 5 and press enter. Of course, it does look cooler if the sides are maxed. And now we can bring it in place and make sure it cuts out. Notice we do have to make it taller. And then simply line it up. Select them. L for a line. Turtle's body is the boss. Bingo. You have got a fantastic turtle. Select it all and do control G to group. If you like to see it in colorful mode, you can always hit multicolor. I'm going to prepare mine for 3D printing. I'm going to choose export. And I'm going to choose an STL and save it in my 3D modeling folder. Friends, as I wrap up, of course, I want to say thanks for following the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the skills and have gotten better at searching for things and using them as holes. I do want to highlight that it absolutely makes my day when you watch these. And even cooler, if you take a moment to share them so we can grow the channel. It is so cool to see it getting closer to 50,000 subscribers. And I totally appreciate you being part of that process. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. If you check this video, it explains all about it. And if you check the bottom, you will find a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It will get you 25% off any course on the site. Of course, you can visit the site by simply clicking the link. Friends, of course, I do want to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.